Guys, so I wanted to show you, I did chop down my varicosum. Yep, I got a varicosum in that shit, man. But look at this. Are those freaking... I know I saw another one down there. But we got... Look, look at them roots, baby. Yes. I am freaking happy. This was like the bottom of it. I lost a leaf on that stick. But look, <laughs> we growing back, baby. And then I want to show you guys this one. This is the top cutting. Look how pretty that one came out. We have another one coming in. And look at them beautiful roots. Yes. Boom. Mm-hmm. Good morning, friends. So I wanted to show you my Hoya Princess here. Hoya Crimson Princess. Look at all of this new growth. All over the place. This bitch was stunt. Now she's stunting. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Guys, so I need some input. I recently got this from Echo Janeiro, like a couple, probably by around, I got it with the Valentine's Day special. So point is, is that this little baby is like, I don't know if she's struggling. Her leaves feel so like, like soft. Look at that. Now, I never had a melanocrysum before, so is it supposed to be like that? I don't think so. I don't think so. So sh I feel like, should I like cut it in every, you know, node, propagate, start new? I feel like I'm gonna end up doing that because, I don't know. Y'all tell me, I'm melanocrysum people, let me know. I don't know what to do, tell I me. I my wife's name out of the fucking I was wondering why my holiday cactus wanted water so frequently. We got flowers, people.